the Illuminati, as their the popular term for them today, is uh, a group which has been around for thousands of years on this planet. They came from off of this planet and interbred with humans. They are reptilian. They have their chosen bloodlines, and they continue to try and keep their genetics pure and interbreed with these chosen bloodlines. These beings are part human, and they are part reptilian. And they continue to run the planet. They are our world leaders, and nobody at this current time who is a government leader is there running the countries unless they were put there by them or they are one of them. Bloodline, in my, in my particular case, I was a slave. And to them, most of humanity, or all of humanity, they consider inferior. They consider humanity a resource to be used for their purpose. They are at a time, a very important time right now, when they are working with some new energies on this planet that they don't work well with. So a lot is coming out into the open, and that is higher law, that it must come out into the open. And they are under higher law also. I was chosen for what I did and for my involvement because my family was bloodline. My mother's family, all I knew growing up was that they were Irish for generations. Not even any brown-eyed people among them. My mother her sister went back to Ireland and researched the bloodline, the family uh, genetics, in the early 70s. And I was told that the original family on the father's side actually came from the south of France. Now, anyone that has done any reading uh, from some well-known authors at this point know that southern France plays a major role in this. That is the source of Merovingian bloodline. On the other side, in her family, I have, it has been told to me that her mother's father was a ritual statistician with the Quater Coronati Lodge, and he was one of the founding members. That lodge is very involved at a very high level. On my father's side, I have been told that his father, and I have seen the papers that he's illegitimate, I have also been told by a number of persons approaching me that he is an illegitimate Rothschild. Now, I was always told that that bloodline was impure. The Rothschilds are not looked upon within the Illuminati as a pure, high bloodline. They have a lot of arguments among themselves as to the purity of their bloodlines. And there is a group within, or there are more than one group within the Illuminati that consider themselves the purest of bloodlines and that they rule 
by right. They feel that they rule by right and not to be elected by the Pope or okayed by any type of Christianity to rule. So they have many disagreements, discords, and arguments among themselves. And that is a weak point with them, that they cannot agree and they have big egos. And that is where they will eventually catch themselves up with their ego. I was chosen because of the bloodline, and I was chosen because I have psychic ability. This was tested out and shown when I was a very young child, about age three. When I was three years old, I was causing objects to move without touching them. This is an ability that they look for. It's not important that you can move objects. That's not the important part. That shows that you have the psychic ability, which is what they look for. Because reptilian bloodlines, in a way, they are very psychic. They can read any of you and know what you're going to do before you do it. And they're not to be underestimated that way. But they cannot enter in to any dimension higher than a fourth dimension. They do not have the genetics to do it. They were hoping, interbreeding with humans, that they would have the ability. They do not have it. They continue to utilize human beings for many purposes, and the purpose that they utilized me for were my psychic abilities, my ability to enter into higher dimensions, my ability to bring down those that are still in this so-called fourth dimension into this physical realm. Some of the things that I can remember about the psychic ability that I had, my mother was constantly on me about poltergeist activity in the house, which she blamed on me. There were lighted spheres in the house. There were things moving in the house. And she talked about troubled children that have poltergeist activity around them. And I, at the time, in my multiplistic state, as I had multiple personality disorder, and the part of me that was out didn't have a clue. I didn't know why she was telling me this. And she was also very psychic. This is another point that I would like to make, because it came down from her side of the family. She was a very psychic woman, and she was utilized the way that she was utilized. I do not know because it was kept away from me. I was very apart, very separated from my mother, and they wanted it that way. I have seen others that were also very psychic, and this is something that they, they are the ones that are the, this, the forefront, the pushing source for a search for psychic people. Um, I can remember telling people things that I knew that there was death around people. I would tell them, I see this. I see that you're going to come close to death, you're going to be in an accident, and this would happen. This happened with an art teacher that I had. I was taking oil painting lessons, and I told her that. I can re actually remember I was in nursing school, going in and laying hands on somebody, and they were actually, the next day, left the hospital. They had been very ill. And I would